From your website and your social media, it looks like your band is no stranger to touring. What has that been like for you now that travel restrictions have hindered the touring process? Has it been difficult to keep the same performance energy up while doing live stream events? Well, it's certainly been an adjustment, if nothing else. And like, we definitely miss going out and playing a lot of our favorite places to go, you know, play music for people. We miss seeing the live crowds. We miss, you know, just traveling around in a van with our friends. Like, that's really it, honestly. And, you know, while we miss seeing the people in person, doing the live streams has given us a way to still connect with people over the internet. And, you know, while, yeah, it's not ideal, and, you know, playing in the back of my phone isn't exactly, uh, you know, as a wild rock concert, it's been able to, we still can connect with people, people tuning into the live streams on Sunday mornings and whatever else we've been doing them. That's been giving, you know, me the motivation and the energy to keep going. Because it's, you know, when we still are able to make that connection, regardless of where we are in the world, it's pretty great. And we've been fortunate to make even new fans overseas during this and, you know, new fans here. So we're just really excited for the opportunity for it to be safe enough for us to go out and play responsibly so that we can really, you know, keep connecting with everybody and getting to know new people. In a 2018 article written for Atwood Magazine, you described the song Roaring Twenties as influenced by the romanticism of the twenties and learning from the past, stating that a lot of people in my generation are banking on the 2020s to be awesome because the last few years have not been so hot. Looking back on the first year of the decade, how has the meaning of the song changed for the band? Well, obviously we were very wrong. And obviously if we thought the last couple of years were bad, you know, everyone said 2020 said, hold my beer. And it really did. It was not anything anybody expected. And I think back to, you know, the naive times when we were able to, you know, go out and see live music multiple times a week and go and just, you know, see our friends in a, what we thought was a safe environment. And, uh, yeah, it's definitely, we were definitely wrong when I, when I wrote the song. But actually, I don't think I was entirely wrong. Because I think that while, yes, the first part of the year was kind of a shit sandwich, or the first part of the decade was a shit sandwich, I think it has now potential for the rest of the decade to get better and get to a point where maybe we'll look back and go, oh, you know, God, that sucks, but look where we are now, you know. And I think it's really made us feel grateful for everything we do have and really had us all take stock in the things we're grateful for and really, you know, what matters in life. So I think, honestly, this year, I think, looking back, I was like, get ready to do a lot of soul searching, get ready to do a lot of working on yourself and, you know, a lot of inward looking because I think it's, we've all been forced to do that and we've had to reconcile with a lot of things and, you know, just having to live with ourselves is a, an important thing that we've all, a skill we've all had to work on, whether we like it or not. So I'd say just be ready to, you know, work on yourself and get ready to hit the ground running when things come back in 2021. So. What would be your top three goals, projects, or events that the band is looking forward to in the future? I'm ready to put out a new record. I'm excited for new music. So, well, we're working on it. We're getting there. I am emotionally ready to put out a new record, but we're still in the process of putting it together. So I'm excited to release a new record at some point in the future. I'm excited to play a real fucking rock concert with my band. That's going to be a good time. That's going to happen at some point in the future. And then I'm excited to go on a weekender with said rock and roll band. I'm excited to get in the van, drive somewhere, play a show that's not New Jersey, get back in the van, drive to a crappy hotel or someone's house, stay overnight, drive, get up in the morning, kill time, get into trouble, drive somewhere else, play a show, get back in the van, go somewhere else, repeat, rinse and repeat, and then get back in the van and go to New Jersey. I don't, I, I'm, I'm excited to do a full tour. I don't even, I'm not even asking for that. I just want a weekend. I want to go to Pennsylvania. I want to go to New York State maybe. Even Ohio, I'd go to Ohio. I, I'd like to go anywhere at this point. And so those are the three things I'm excited for. New music, live show, weekender.